up your jewel, dummy. We have no money for jewelry. Sorry, I've dreamed of this necklace all my life. My greedy husband depreciatingly rolled his eyes. We won't waste money on your stupid dreams. Honey, but I'm so tired of saving. For many years, John has been giving me money only for basic necessities. I've been wearing this dress and shoes for five years already. Our toy store was profitable this year, and I was hoping we'd have a normal Christmas. I looked at the necklace with tears in my eyes and silently followed my husband. But soon, this necklace changed my whole life. I was cleaning the house on Christmas Eve and found an expensive velvet box in my husband's stuff. Unbelievable! John did buy that necklace after all. The most awaited moment for me came at dinner. Honey, I have a special gift for you. Merry Christmas! Full of joy, I tore open the package and was shocked. I found almost new shoes for you at a thrift shop. Now you don't have to walk in old shoes for another year. Suddenly, someone rang the doorbell. This must be the cashier from our store. Lola is so hard working that I decided to invite her for dinner. She entered the room with that gorgeous necklace on her neck. I was speechless and couldn't come to my senses all evening. After dinner, Lola came up to me first. I'm so grateful that you hired me. You and John have become like family to me. Where did you get such an expensive necklace? Oh, my boyfriend gave it to me for Christmas. He's so generous. We're flying to the Maldives after the holidays. It was hard for me to believe that my husband could be so generous. It all seemed like a strange coincidence to me. That night, I decided to clarify my suspicions. I took my husband's laptop and read his texts with Lola. It turned out that he made me save money, didn't pay taxes and loans for months, only to spend thousands of dollars on a mistress. Your wife is so stupid. <laughs> we got her a great present for Christmas. He was planning to take all the earnings from the sold toys, transfer all the credits to me, and escape to the Maldives with his mistress. Well, dear, I'll make an unforgettable surprise for you, too. In the morning, I told my husband the incredible news. Honey, one orphanage wants to buy all our toys. All of them? At once? It's incredible! Yes, they loved our store. There's only one condition. We have to give the toys to the children ourselves, okay? John? was blinded by a good deal. Suspecting nothing, my husband agreed right away. We immediately went to the orphanage. John handed the kids toys with a fake smile on his face. These orphans will make us incredibly rich. By the way, they will pay us cash or write a check. We won't get paid, honey. This is charity. What are you talking about? I won't give toys to stupid children for free! At that moment, police entered the room. 
Sir, you're under arrest for tax and loan evasion. Merry Christmas, honey. I hope your mistress will help you deal with this difficult situation. But after she found out about what had happened, Lola was in no hurry to help John. She made an appointment with me first. Oh, it's so great that we got rid of this villain. This will only make our friendship stronger, won't it? No, dear. You're fired. Lola laughed arrogantly in my face. Well, I don't need your job. I can easily find a new one. I doubt that anyone will hire you after this. I pointed to the billboard behind the furious cashier. By the way, Merry Christmas, Lola. If you dig a pit for others to fall into, you will fall into it yourself. Thank you.